There we go, finally. Sorry about that, people. The live stream server was then absolutely impossible. It had gotten stuck uh, trying to connect to the server, which is what I was not responding. Anyway, we're on to game number 57, I think. Sacred Earth Promise. I hear some people like this one. We shall see. To what end do we promise? In what way do we do dice bind? Whoa. Moments crystallizing time which make family from <laughs> Okay. In what end of the same passes are you willing to really start with poetry something stuff right off the bat? <sighs> um Yeah yeah. Oh my god, I don't care! What the fuck? Do you really think I'm going to pay attention to this? Because no! It's not the music. Whoa, what? Oh. It's a modern game? Okay. Good morning, Briel. Good morning, Bailey. Oh, you're already up. I can't have to wake you up. Why do they have the help here in a modern setting? Thanks, I just finished. I lay through the lunch. Did you really just roll out of bed? Nope, I was dragged out. Uh, I didn't have oh, oh, my brain hurts. What? There's no music? the setting a bit before throwing me into all this information that I have no idea what's going on. Oh. So what's going on? Ah. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Ready to not give a shit. Can I save my game anywhere here? No. Okay. Elfir and Best Kim, welcome to the final contest. Oh. Dragon skin. Ok, 
games have started to make sense. Yay! Who's that? Who's that? Some games that use specific scripts or complicated scripts um, have this weird error with um, XP operating systems, so yeah. I don't think we can do much about that. Can I load? Nope, I can't look here, but that's it then. Um, I can't really justify um, a specific feedback, but I will say I had no idea of what was going on at all. This game lost me from the get go. Okay, that's not a good thing. It's uh, I'm not sure if it be all becomes clear later, but it's all so much all at once no context so many things that clash without explanation why are there elves and dragons but the, the insides are photos or mo of modern places they have computers but then they're in a court and then they're in a floating city what the fuck is going on you can just pass that through me i need to know these things how am i supposed to get invested in a game if the game doesn't tell me anything 
Also, we're suddenly in an arena which by itself is not a bad way to start. The problem is that you shove in so much extraneous information about characters that I don't fucking know who they are. What the fuck is this? I have no fucking idea. My main reaction to this game is, huh? What? <laughs> this doesn't make a good game. I'm not sure if it's because it's. Uh, I suspect. I think there. I don't know if this is a spin-off of some other game. And in that case, if you are a sequel or a direct spin-off that relies on the player knowing it, you have to tell them. You can just start the game like, yeah, all this shit that you don't know. Uh, and if it is a spin-off that's supposed to be um that's supposed to be uh what's the name? That's supposed to be a standalone boot with cannons and cameos and shit. Um that's fine, but you don't smack all of the cameos and all of these characters that they have no shitting it who they are in the very first scenes like I oh, oh, you only know there are two sisters, they look exactly alike in the battle. Battle system maybe it gets better later, I can't tell, but it was pretty fucking ridiculous. I just have to spam the Z button and it did all the attacks. It, it, what's the point of that? It did more damage than the spells. Um honestly I can't say much about this. It was such a confusing experience. <laughs> what's going on at any point? I don't know, maybe there's a good game on the Rital, but I, I just can't, I can't, um, what can I say, the battles are engaging, this wouldn't be a problem, if I could save, I couldn't save, I missed all that, I'm not going to start all over again, um, it's not a problem if the first two battles are easy, that's that's not really a problem, I'm not going to complain about that, it's more that they were a bit bland, um, the, um, also, the this sort of visual novel style makes it so I don't, I couldn't save, which sort of sucks. I lost my project, my project, my, oh, I will say eventually. I lost my data, so yeah, that's that, and I don't know. I mean. Some of the resources were nice. I'm not a big fan of the anime style, of that simplistic anime style, but that doesn't mean it's bad at all. The characters seem to have personality, but the problem is that so much of it was implied and so much of their text was references to other stuff that I had no idea of what they were talking about. The overall, ex over the overall it just came out as really confusing. Uh, then I'm not sure if this is a game that's I met at a very specific group of people that are already in on the info, or if it's all being dubious and they will explain it to you later. If they explain it to you later and this is just a build up, it fails absolutely. It need, if you want to drop um, clues and shit, that's fine, but when it's all, all of the text is like referencing to stuff you don't know as a player, it doesn't work. There are too many, you can't just sneak by all this fucking context, not explain it, of living in a floating city, an arena, churches, pieces, um, in, in one character that just goes away, what the fuck was that all about? Um, it just doesn't make for good, good design, game design. <sighs> anyway, I will move on to the next game, I will see you guys there.